Hello, and welcome back to the Social Lines podcast. This is Ashley Walker, and our topic today is Facebook versus Instagram. Which is a better fit for your marketing efforts? You may already be aware of the fact that Facebook owns Instagram. The fact that the world's largest social media platform is Instagram's parent company has caused some marketers to view them as a single entity. While it's certainly true that you can target Instagram users from within Facebook, that doesn't necessarily mean they're one and the same. As anyone who uses Facebook and Instagram will tell you, the two platforms are quite different. That's why so many users still maintain accounts on both of them. They share certain features in common, but they each have unique strengths and weaknesses from a marketing perspective. Strategies that work wonders on Facebook might fall flat on the photo sharing platform, and the reverse is also true. Both platforms can be used to connect with friends, family, celebrities, and brands. But advertisers would do well to create separate yet complementary marketing strategies for each. Your client and prospects spend an awful lot of time on Facebook. So what do they get out of it? Well, according to studies, people turn to the social media giant for news, but they also use it in a way to connect with friends and family. Facebook posts tend to have a pretty opinionated bent, whether they're about politics, traffic, the weather, a new restaurant, or that recent X. That's not all bad, by the way. Users say Facebook offers more exposure to bold new ideas and unexpected ways of thinking. Instagram is primarily focused on images, and while there may be captions or locations shared along with the pictures, it's a platform of few words. Here, art rules the day. So it should come at no surprise that users turn to Instagram to get their creative juices flowing. Instagram also has the potential for native-like brands to execute within the platform itself. To put that in simpler terms, it's easy to showcase a product or a service in a visual context that makes perfect sense, doesn't feel forced, and creates positive feelings around the brand. And while Instagram users like the platform for its capacity to connect them with friends, family, and celebrities, they're just as likely to use it for fashion and beauty advice, interior design inspiration, and cool do-it-yourself project ideas. Instagram is all about arresting images and following your muse. So it's no wonder that so many young creatives get excited about the platform. You're probably wondering... How do I become successful on Facebook and Instagram? Well, here are a couple tips, and we'll start with Facebook. Tip number one, add a clear cover photo. When Facebook users land on your page, you want them to figure out who you are and and what you do within about three seconds. That's why a good cover photo is very important. The 20% text rule doesn't apply to cover images. So there's no restriction on including prices or calls to action. Even so, I advise against filling your cover full of unneeded text. The simpler, the better. Only use images and text that relate to your brand, services, or products. For example, if you sell boats, don't use images of trucks. To avoid a stale page appearance, change your cover to conjunction with the season, holidays, or events that make sense for your brand. If you don't have professional image editing software, here's some free and paid tools to help you create a great cover image. They are Canva, Timeline Slicer Pro, and PicMonkey. The second tip is optimize your profile photo. While your cover photo gives users who land on your Facebook page their first impression, it's your profile photo they'll see the most. Unless they visit your timeline again, all they'll see from you branding-wise is your profile photo on the newsfeed. Your profile pic is more important than the cover photo because it appears in the newsfeed of your followers, posts on your page's timeline, replies and comments, comments and posts you make on other pages while using your page, over the cover photo on your timeline. So I guess you can say the profile picture is very important. The third tip 
is make your content ridiculously valuable. The single most effective way to build loyalty and trust is to share a ridiculous amount of valuable information. This is content that you freely share with a no-strings-attached policy. Make use of your skills and experience by giving away a series of useful tips, whether it's a video tutorial or a simple how-to. Share what you know and share it often. While it's important to create a fun atmosphere, it's also critical that you provide value. Take past new letters, emails, and other marketing collateral and turn them into a quick tips. Whether it's information that saves your audience money, helps them make money, or win a negotiation, keep them tuned in and coming back for more. Now let's give Instagram some love. Here are three tips on how to be more successful via Instagram. Tip number one, be strategic with your bio link. For personal use, Instagram is fun and spontaneous. But if you want to use it as a marketing tool, you have to be a little more calculating with it. I suspect the businesses that are really killing it on Instagram, like Nordstrom, Starbucks, Nike, and others, plan their posts well in advance. If you're a smaller brand or a one-man show, you can still develop a great presence on Instagram. Okay, tip number two. Take advantage of trending hashtags. Users can now use Instagram's Explore features to find posts related to trending hashtags. If these trending hashtags are relevant to your brand, include them in timely posts to aid discovery. On the topic of search, Instagram also introduced the ability to search by emoji. All right, tip number three. Mix videos and photos. The hottest Instagram marketing tip is to mix up your posting strategy by including videos in addition to photos. Considering that a video can generate three times more inbound links than written posts, it's a valuable tool that can be used to engage fans, grow your following, and drive traffic. In marketing, we all know that Instagram is about visual storytelling. But with a video, you can actually bring your story to life. So which is best for your brand? Facebook or Instagram? Well, that depends on your brand and the nature of your offerings and the purpose driving your push for engagement. In the end, there's really no reason why you can't do both. The best strategy for many brands is to maintain a presence on both platforms and to use it when the time or project is appropriate. Thanks again for tuning in with Social Lions. Again, this is Ashley Walker, and as always, it's been a pleasure.